Hi guys, I wanted to show you real quick um, how the Cricut Maker, now this is the newest model, the um, newest one that Cricut has out, the Cricut Maker, and how it cuts felt. I haven't seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so really quick before I finish my product, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Now, the first thing you need to know is I am just using felt from a pack that I bought off of Amazon, so it's really thin. Um, and the regular felt cutting selection on your um, Cricut Design Space will actually cut into, as you can see, cut into your mat a little bit. So I will tell you how to avoid that and also how I am doing this cute little project. I am making some ice cream cones for a busy book. So I already have a couple pieces cut out. I've got my cone and then I have different colored ice cream scoops and I'm not going to link the design in the description box because you can find this on Pinterest or just when you Google search ice cream cones and you can find all different patterns that you can download and create your own files with, which is what I did. So really quickly, this is just what I decided to go with and then I uploaded it into my Cricut Design Space and I have two of them. Let's see if I can pull it apart. I have two of the ice cream scoops on here right now. So I am going to go ahead and go to make it. My computer is a bit slow, so you'll have to bear with me. And there it pops up. We're going to click on continue. Sometimes my machine has trouble connecting to my computer and I find that I just have to wiggle the USB cord when that happens. There, I went ahead and found it. So, I have set the material as one of my favorites because I do make busy books quite often. So you want to go for felt acrylic fabric because this is so thin. So I'm going to click on that. And you do want to use your rotary blade. I already have mine in my machine. And here where it says pressure, you want to go ahead and click on less. I've gone through a lot of settings and for this material this one works the best for me. Um, I have cut this on a cotton setting before which works fine as well. You still have to set it to less pressure though. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and show you how it cuts. So I'm going to click load. I didn't quite load that in there. <laughs> to do this with one hand. Alright. And of course you will want to have the Cricut fabric mat. And when you're using felt, it is going to feel a lot less sticky than what it should. But trust me, it stays on there pretty good. So now we're just going to click the flashing go button and you can watch it in action. thinking about it. <laughs> there is no fast mode on felt, or at least not that I've found yet, which is perfectly fine. It still cuts a lot faster than my Explore did. Uh, a tip when you're uploading patterns to use for felt, if you upload it as simple instead of more complex design, you get less jagged edges because sometimes when you upload a photo and you're turning it into your own SVG file, 
you can get some weird lines and I'm not saying those go away when you use the simple selection but it does make them a lot less noticeable sometimes depends on your picture and it's already done with those so I'm gonna unload it let's see I'm gonna have to bring it down here to show you Let's see, cut that out real easy. And that's a really good cut, especially on felt this thin. So um, that's just really quick. Maybe I'll come back and show you how I put this together or what it looks like when it's all finished. But there you go, guys. I hope this helps.